Okie dokie Jasmine Tag for April the 12th, 2021. Craziest dare you have ever done. I gotta, I gotta fix that. It says did. <laughs> Anyways, the craziest uh, dare you have ever done. I, I have not done many crazy dares. Uh, I, I just never got into that kind of thing. Um... It was like, that's not going to happen, and I would not do it uh, most of the time. Um, God, I don't know. No, nothing's really coming to mind that's uh, overtly crazy or anything like that. Um, and like I say, I almost never did dares, almost never. So nothing's coming to mind, sorry. Uh, do you watch Disney films? Oh, no. No. That's why I, I think uh, the whole Disney Plus thing is a complete waste of time and effort and money because uh, I don't like anything they do. Uh, so, uh, I mean, it's a good thing they bought Star Wars and not Star Trek because I don't like Star Wars. So, <laughs> you know, I got a cramp in my leg. Uh, Camping in a trailer or a tent? Uh, there's also wild camping where you don't have a tent at all. You're sleeping under the stars. I have uh, done all three of those. Uh, and I, I think I prefer camping in a tent is the the one I, I preferred. I have been camping many, many, many times. Uh, not for a very long time, but I have uh, done it a lot when I was younger. If you could uh, go anywhere right now, where would it be? You know, I think right now, uh, if I could go anywhere, uh, it would be Paris. Paris, France. Uh, just because. One of the reasons uh, when people ask you the question, uh, what superpower would you want? I would want teleporting as uh, to uh, be able to travel without expense. Yeah. <laughs> Think of the temptation, though. You could uh, you could put a ski mask on and uh, teleport into a uh, liquor store and rob them blind and take all the top ends, uh, the top shelf stuff and take off. <laughs> it would lead to no good, I'm sure. Uh, it really would. It would be such a temptation. Uh, uh, yeah. Anyways, have you ever betrayed a friend? Not once. Not once. Um, I've been uh, stabbed in the back by your friends uh, many, 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 many times, though, over the years. And uh, I'm still going to trust people. It's just that simple. I'm not going to uh, stop trusting people just because some people are uh, complete twats. I'm, uh, uh, most people that have been in my life are very good people, and they've been in the, they're in my life for a reason. So, and there has been good friends come and go over the years and just drift apart and lose contact. Um, but uh, for the most part, it's been okay. I had a friend of uh, decades uh, that I knew him. I knew him since high school, and he uh, he went crazy on me. Um, it was a long time coming, though, because he went crazy on not just me, but a few other people as well. And it was just, he was turning into a mean human being, and we don't know at, at all what the problem is. We don't know what his uh, issue is. And he just, uh, it's just, sorry, I can't be around you anymore. You're, you're crazy and you're mean. So, you know, uh, things happen. People change sometimes and you, you don't expect it and you don't know why. But uh, that's the way it goes. Yippers. And, of course, there's some people that you thought were your friend and... Uh, when it come, you've helped them many, many times, like one person that I knew even longer than that crazy friend, the one that went mean. He, I had done 
literally a lot of uh, things for him over the years, and I wanted one favor after all those years. One favor, and he wouldn't do it without getting paid for it. So that was the end of that one. Yeah, but uh, yeah, outright stabbed in the back. It's happened a few times as well. So, uh, metaphorically speaking, of course, the only stab in the back I've ever had in reality is, uh, I think it, about a 10-year-old boy stuck me in the back for not giving him money for a big gulp. He wanted a dollar or something like that, and I wouldn't give it to him. He stabbed me, little <laughs> bastard. And he left the knife in my back, and I couldn't, uh, I didn't want to pull it out, even though it was a small knife, and I was a big person. It wasn't actually going into the muscle or anything. I tried to drive to the hospital, and here's this little pen knife sticking out of my back, and I'm like, and I'm weaving all over the road because uh, it's it's bumping into the seat, and I'm like wincing in pain. Cop pulls me over and he goes, do you know there's a knife sticking out of your back? Dumbest question ever, right? So, yeah, anyways. Cop drove me to the hospital. Yeah. <laughs> anyways, that's it. That's all. Have a good one. Keep smiling.